Welcome back to my channel Questions by Adriya. Today we are going to start with a new chapter of World of Animals. Okay, from class 4, Blue Planet Book. Where do they live? Terrestrial animals, aquatic, aerobial and aerial. Okay, I'm going to elaborate them. Terrestrial animals are the animals which live on land like dog, cat, cow, camel, etc. Aquatic are the animals which live in water, for example, dolphin, shark, fish. Amphibians are the animals which live on both land and in water, for example, frog. And aerobial are the animals which spend most of their time on trees, as you all know, like monkey. Aerial are the animals which have hollow bones and can fly in the air and also have wings. For example, sparrow, cat, crows and pigeons. Food habits of animals. Herbivores, carnivores, omnivores and scavengers. Let's elaborate. Herbivores animals like cow, goat, horse only eat grass plants. It means plants uh, that are eaten just by the animals. Or you can say animals which only eat plants are called herbivores. Carnivores animals which eat flesh and have sharp teeth to tear. Of other animals, omnivorous animals that eat both plants as well as the flesh of other animals like dog, bear, human beings and human beings are also omnivorous. Scavengers, animals which eat dead animals like carnivorous kill the animals. Now the leftover part which is you know like the bones are left so that are eaten by the scavengers now let's do reproduction in animals there are two ways of reproduction by laying eggs or by giving birth to young ones first we will do animal that lay eggs animals like frogs snakes boat crocodiles and insects lay eggs when the babies inside the eggs mature egg mature means the eggshell they break the shell and come out of it. Now let us read about in them in detail. Boats, you know, you all know they reproduce by laying eggs and they build their nests on trees. And they sit on eggs for many days until they hatched and babies come out of them. All eggs have a thin protective shell called the egg shell. See, this is the diagram. Egg white, alburum. Alburum is a white watery substance. Okay, the uh, those who all eat eggs must be knowing this. Now this is a yolk. Now can you see this red point? This is known as embryo or offspring or unhatched baby. Okay, airspace and cholza. This all just given. Okay, now what is the process of incubation when female parent animal sits on the eggs for few weeks to keep it warm? It is known as incubation. Okay, the breaking of the egg to let the baby come out is called hatching. The development of an animal from the embryo like life cycle. Okay, life cycle. Uh, now just leave anything and we are going to jump on life cycle because you all have read this and I have elaborated also. Frog. See, first of all, the adult frog lay eggs. Then the tadpole. The baby of a frog is called tadpole. Tadpole comes out. Okay. Now... The tadpole have a tail, a big tail is, you know, hands, okay? Now you think that, what? This is like a fish, but this is a real frog. Yeah, when the frog lay eggs in water, tadpole comes out, okay? And the tadpole have gills to breathe, not the lungs to breathe. 
okay now after 2 to 3 weeks his tail comes out legs okay and you know he just get a little thicker and after that he became a pupa he comes in pupa stage tail legs it means his limbs it limbs comes out you know at the back it is also given limbs and arm and leg of a person or animal okay now it becomes to an adult and it still vanishes when it is in pupa stage and in adult stage it you know gills vanished and lungs come okay and a uh, frog lives half of their life in water and half of them in land now this is done now let's come to butterfly now first of all butterfly lays larva on a leaf which is known as caterpillar then lay uh, then the eggs hatch and the caterpillar come out then after that caterpillar looks very different from a fully grown butterfly okay now the caterpillar builds a cocoon cocoon it's cocoon c o c d o o n cocoon builds outside of its body to protect okay now after that after some time it becomes to pupa it comes in pupa stage and it sheds its skin many times to become an adult and shedding of their skin is known as molting then it becomes to an adult and this is known as the life cycle okay now let's go to the life cycle of a house fly house fly is too simple house fly lay eggs you know okay now after that they lay eggs now the larva of the house fly is known as maggot maggot comes out then it comes to pupa stage it sheds its skin again it is known as molting and it goes in a adult same with cockroach okay here is the diagram it's just three this is showing that it has one laid eggs but they lay in groups okay first of all they lay egg then it comes in the stage of pupa in pupa stage it shed its skin and the larva of a cockroach is known as nymph n y m p h here it is given now what are reptiles reptiles are the animals which dig shallow pits or hide their eggs from the insects or animals which are able to eat the eggs of other animals okay now uh, this is complete now let's go to animal that give birth to young ones animals like he lion tiger elephant rabbit human beings give birth to their young ones okay and feed them with their own milk the animals or the human beings which feed their children with their own milk okay and give birth to their young ones is called mammals here it is given that these animals are called mammals okay mammals as well as have developed brains okay uh, these animals have a well developed brain okay most of them even have hair on their bodies most of the animals also have hair on their bodies M of mammals develop inside the mother's body where they get complete protection i just told you what are reptiles they dig pit uh, you know shallow pits you know to protect their eggs so same way mother keeps the baby in the okay uh, protected and the baby gets protection from the mother and paternal but parental care 
when they are born the mother cares for them feeds them with milk and protects them till they can look after themselves okay now in viro terms points to ponder these you have to do on your own now let's discuss these a b and c part but d part you have to do on your own the white fatty substance inside an egg is called albumin if you are not able to you know just not able to listen or not able to understand my accent you can also you know use the tick marking animals that live on land are called terrestrial you know the baby of a frog is called tadpole animals living on both land and in water are called amphibians animals that eat only flesh of other animals carnivores the yellow portion in the center of an egg yolk the cluster of an eggs of a frog is called sperm the larva of a house fly is known as maggot and now caterpillar matches with butterfly tadpole matches with frog cow matches with uh now see just cow matches with herbivores molting uh, matches with shedding of old skin and eggs with incubation okay d part is your homework thank you this for the day